G'day, it's Oscar Trimboli. I've set myself a little challenge and I was wondering if you might be able to assist. Over the time I've been working with people around their listening, whether it's the deep listening quiz, the 90 day challenge, our webinars, our workshops, people who've bought the book or the playing cards or people who are interacting with our deep listening online masterclass for managers, Questions keep coming up about listening. I've realized that by writing down all these questions over time, I'm well over a thousand questions. Now, don't worry, they fall into themes and I've set myself a challenge to answer these questions between now and the end of the year. I'll be posting regularly here with my reply to the questions that people are asking. These questions come in the context of one-on-one -on -one conversations, around group conversations, how to have effective listening face-to-face, -face, as well as how to do it on video conferencing. There's also a number of questions that come about not just which levels are people listening at, at how do you listen through the context of different cultures? How do you listen through the context of conflict? How do you listen through the lens of complexity? How do you listen to it through the lens of collaboration? When people say to me, Oscar, this listening is very specialized, I've come to realize this impacts people across many professions, whether that's sales, whether that's technology, whether that's human resources, whether that's manufacturing, whether that's engineering, whether that's leading an organization, listening has a pretty big impact on all of those. So here's how you can help with this challenge. If you've got a question about listening, just put it in an email, podcast at oscartrimboli.com. That's podcast at oscartrimboli.com. And I might even come back and clarify that with you, but I will definitely answer it. How to listen in meetings for actions. This question comes from Sophie and she says, Oscar, what I struggle with the most when it comes to listening is turning what I hear into appropriate actions. Well, thanks Sophie. Three things for you to consider is, one, who takes the notes in the meeting? Two, how do you define what was actually agreed? And then finally, what will be different if the agreed action was actually taken. Now, Sophie, I sense you might be asking the question in the context of a group meeting. In a group meeting, gain the agreement from the host, if you're not the host, at the very beginning of the meeting about who's taking the notes. If you're the host, then explain to the group how actions will be captured during the meeting. It's really critical for this process to be exposed right at the beginning of the conversation. Now, by the way, Sophie, if you're in a discussion with just one other person, just agree with them as part of the dialogue, who's gonna take that action? Now, in a group meeting, the second element of actions is to confirm what was actually agreed. This is the biggest misstep I see people taking. And as a result, it's a common area where when you come back on the follow-up for this meeting, a lot of people are confused because they delivered what they thought they heard rather than what the group agreed to. So when it comes to agreeing to the action, when it's delegated to the person responsible in the meeting, and by the way, you can only delegate to the person in the meeting. You can't delegate an action to someone outside the meeting. You can delegate it to somebody else or explain it to the person outside the meeting. But again, a critical thing when it comes to group actions is you can only delegate it to the person who was listening to the context. Now you need to ask the person that it's delegated to, to verbally confirm what they're agreeing to, not by saying yes or no, I agree to that, but to confirm what they actually heard and to confirm the specific action they're going to take. Now, when this happens, it surfaces any misunderstanding really, really quickly. And it does so in the moment 
rather than after the fact when it's way too late and there's wasted effort on everybody's part. Finally, where appropriate, ask what would be different as a result of taking this action. Particularly in a group meeting, this helps people to understand the value of what they've decided and helps the group to prioritise its important. So Sophie, thanks for the question. And a quick reminder, remember who is taking the action in a group meeting. Ensure during the meeting what is agreed is verbalised. And then finally, what will be different as a result of taking this action? If you're like Sophie and got a question about workplace listening, just put it in an email, podcast at oscartrimboli.com. That's podcast at oscartrimboli.com. I'm Oscar Trimboli, and along with the Deep Listening Ambassadors, we're on a quest to create 100 million deep listeners in the world. And you've given us the greatest gift of all. You've listened to us. Thanks for listening.